hello and welcome to this terraform advanced series so today we are going to discuss about the terraform graphs so in my past video if you see all my video on the terraforms i already posted a video on terraform for nine hours if you didn't refer my that video please have a look so you can see i written down all the things in a terraform file okay so in this video you can see that uh, the, this is uh, i take an example of the vpc where we have the resources variables and provider with ec2 instance and i provided the key as well okay and in the instance we are deploying the uh, sttpd okay apache apache server and we are writing a welcome to my page in a index.html file so sometimes what happened you need a graphical representations of that terraform code okay so that you can discuss with your teams uh, while in the stand up that what the architecture look like um, graphical representations of code uh, have many advantages you can see it's easy to understand so while looking into the code the graph you can understand okay though the, AP, the elastic ip is linked with my ec2 and the same time with the internet gateway so you can understand it very easily so uh, first benefit you can uh, consider it as a uh, easy to understand and uh, you can do a quick analysis on that so it always help you to uh, quickly analyze large amount of code many files more than 100 files so sometimes you need a graphical uh, representations of that code to quickly analysis and it save your time as well you can do do a, a, a comparison also that uh, what the older graph file looks like and how we change that graph by writing the terraform file so you can analyze that uh, with the comparison uh, also and it have the visual impact you can do a for, uh, forecasting so graph also help you to forecast by showcasing the trend of the code over time how the bulky the code looks like how how can you simplify the things at your end so you can see that uh, this is my code and uh, uh, now we are going to look into that how the terraform graphs looks like so that you can um, understand uh, how to generate this graph uh, using the terraform file so you have the file so in this uh, video i am not going to discuss more about the uh, vpc how the vpc is created this is not the motto of this video but for your overview i can just show what um, it's creating the vpc and then the uh, public and the private subnet after that it said um, deploying the instance in the public subnet and then um, uh, installing uh, um, some with the bash script okay so you can um, see that um, i am uh, doing uh, means while the instance get loaded uh, get up it will uh, run the bash script okay and where here we have the pam key so you can see the instance related details we provided in this file and this have the provider informations that which provider we are going we are using aws and the reason which we are using you can see in the variables so you can see that the reason is ap south one uh, mumbai reason and the instance that we are using of t2 micro and the A ami id which we are using so how many instance we are going to create so all these informations we keep inside these files okay so in this video we are also not going to deploy it okay my motto is to just generate a graph so let me first initialize it terraform in it okay so this is the first command so that it will uh, download uh, all the uh, plugins uh, related with the provider so we don't have any restriction so it will uh, download the latest one from the aws okay so after after that we will um, execute some command uh, or and do some installations also so for that uh, we are going to utilize the graph which okay so i am first um, installing it uh, in my local system i am using the windows okay uh, so you can see you can you have to go to the download folder and here you will find um, the download file for each of the operating system like windows uh, i am going to install so you can uh, download any of the versions the older one is also available so you can download it uh, you can download it for the mac as well but uh, for the mac user 
um, it's uh, not stable uh, so if you see here uh, they are needing help from uh, for the mac os uh, operating systems because um, uh, sometimes they uh, while installing this uh, graph which in mac uh, it's uh, there is some memory related problem the your system will may maybe hang for some time so for the mac user uh, i will um, provide some other way around so for the windows user i am going to install the latest one uh, 64 bit so i am going to download it it's not more than 7 megabyte so you can see it's already downloaded it's depend upon your internet speed so now i am going to uh, download it okay so here you can see um, uh, you just need to click uh, on next i agree and here you have to add uh, add to the system path for all the users okay so in that case you don't need to put that path to the environment variables okay so next and then install so it's a um, quite straightforward installations you will not feel any difficulties on it meanwhile um, our terraform init command also executed and uh, after the installation i will uh, close it and again reopen the vs code okay so it's finished so now what i am going to do i am i'm just going to close it okay and again uh, i'm going to open the code vs code okay and uh, you can find that the terraform file the plugin already downloaded here so now what i am going to use uh, the terraform graph command it's a terraform graph dot and i am writing it in the graph dot s v g okay so uh, it will create one file of um, name graph.svg and write all the data inside it if you look into the file you can find that this uh, is a browser compatible file so after uh, if you want to open it in the browser you can use any of the browsers so i am using chrome and you can find that uh, it's a current we are we are able to generate the graph the visual representations of my terraform code and it is very easy to understand like if you see the elastic ip it's connected to the ec2 and same while we have the route table and accordingly whatever the linking you establish in the code it will um, show the arrow accordingly okay so if you if you see the resources so you can see that for the route table we are using the vpc id okay so accordingly the it's in the arrow will be uh, placed accordingly on that particular graph okay so uh, you can refer it very um, uh, easy way you can say that is easy to understand the quick analysis you can uh, give into this and you can save the time you can do the comparison as well with the old graph and the new graph so um, uh, graphical representations always helpful in understanding the code the inf understanding the infrastructure how we build up our system and what is the previous uh, infrastructure and how we modify it uh, as the time passes okay now for the uh, mac user what we are going to do we are using the graphics uh, only but uh, with the online uh, environment so you don't need to install uh, it in um, your mac because it currently it's causing the memory issues and they required some volunteer to contribute to fix that it's already there in the in the page we already seen that it's seeking some uh, support from the volunteer to fix this so you can you can um, go into online but before before that you need to uh, run the command the simple command tira form graph okay so it will give you the code you just need to copy that code and put it there okay so it will uh, it will uh, show the similar graph to you but it is not in your system it's online related thing so you need to do it all the time when you want to see the let me copy it control c okay 
ओके एंड कॉपी एंड देन गो टू दैट पोर्टल एंड रिमूव ऑल द थिंग्स एंड देन एंड देन वी आर गोइंग टू सी द ग्राफ सो यू कैन सी द सिमिलर ग्राफ वी हैव हेयर एज वेल ओके so in this way for this is for the mac user now you can uh, if you don't require to install in your local system you can uh, do online for the windows user also but better if you want uh, to see it frequently better to have it in your local system okay so i i shown you both the way uh, whatever you prefer so hope you like this video if you didn't subscribe my channel it please do subscribe it it always motivate me uh, to bring new videos for you guys uh, keep learning Have a nice day. Thank you.